Hi guys, I'm Mary Poplin, and today we're going to look at Adjust Track and Insert Tools within Mocha Pro. I'm Imagineer Systems Local LA Product Specialist, and I'm going to go ahead and get this project started. I'm going to choose my clip by navigating to it in the browser, make sure my settings are all OK, and then hit OK. Alright, so I've got this super cheesy old clip here um, that I'm going to try to track, and you can see that it's got terrible image quality. You may have seen it circling around as a meme. Um, it's the troll old -ol guy. Now, I want to try to replace his face with the internet troll face and make a troll old -ol funny video. So let me show you how I do that. So first, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shorten my clip down to the workspace that I want to work in. In this case, I'm working from frame 587 to frame 1050. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a spline around the plane of his face, or what I believe the front of his face to be. And I'm hoping that the parallax of um, his features, if I just grab the front of his face, doesn't mess up my track too much. Now because this video is really messy, I'm not going to get a perfect track no matter what I do. And because his head is moving back and forth so much, it's going to be a very difficult shot. I'm also going to make sure that I turn on my surface and my grid so that I can see what the track is doing while I track. A lot of people don't do this. I promise you, you will save yourself a lot of headache if you will just turn the grid and surface on and look at how they're moving along with the track to tell whether or not your tracking data is good or not. But once I'm satisfied I have everything where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and track forward. Okay, and you can see that that track is not really doing a very good job, mostly because of the nastiness of the footage itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to reposition the spline that we have put around his face back to where it needs to be, starting with the point in the track that we started with, and then we're going to start tracking backwards. Now, obviously I've speed, sped the tracking up here so that, you know, you don't get bored to tears watching this. But suffice to say, we're going to have to retrack forwards and make sure everything's how we want it. Now obviously we have some serious track issues, so how are we going to fix that? What we're going to do is we're going to fix that in the Adjust Track module. Alright, so how do we do that? Well what we do is we pick four points. In this case it puts them, you know, originally where the surface uh, starts. And I align these points to areas on the face or areas on the plane that I'm tracking that I think are going to be good data points that will be there throughout the entirety of the shot. And this is very important. So what I'm picking is I'm picking the corners of his mouth and the inside corners of his eyes. So the inside corners of his eyes, the outside corners of his mouth, because they're high contrast areas that this that I can use as an overall reference to try to correct my track. Alright, so I'm gonna hit set master all. Now Set Master All basically makes every single one of those reference points that I picked the master reference points for the entirety of the shot. And then it's just as simple as going and adjusting my reference points where they're off throughout the entirety of the shot. So I'm just going to keep aligning to the outside corners of his mouth and the inside corners of his eyes until I end up with something good. And basically I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that until I'm satisfied that my track is a lot better than it used to be. And I'm going to check that by using the surface tool and playing through the shot. Until, like I've, until I feel like I've got something that doesn't wobble all over the place, like it was doing. There will likely be some wobble still, because this is a pretty difficult shot and he's moving an awful lot, but in general my results will be a lot better than they used to be. Now you'll notice that there are green dashed lines coming up between the four points I keep adjusting. Green, just like in stoplights, green is good, green is go. Yellow is slow down, and in our case medium, and red is stop, this is not good um, data to use. That's something to keep in mind as you reposition your points throughout the scene. It's especially relevant when you're setting the points in the first place. If your lines, if your dashed lines are red, you need to find some different reference points. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm aligning my surface to this guy's face, and I'm double checking my data to make sure everything is correct. Um, you'll notice that I'm going to go one more pass back through my adjust track to try to make sure that everything looks how it's supposed to look. Alright, so as we keep going, that's looking pretty decent, and I'm just keep aligning everything. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my grid and surface tool on and play that through to check my tracking data and make sure everything looks as solid as I would like for it to look. Now, that's looking okay. Um, it's looking like we can move on to the insert portion of our section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Import, 
in my insert clip, and I'm going to import the troll face. I was going to put her at the top of this guy. And if you spent much time on the internet, you'll recognize the internet troll face. That's all this is. I'm just going to add it on top of his face. And I'm going to adjust my surface tool in my insert tool by aligning this face over my troll little guy's face until I'm satisfied that it's in the right position. And if I've done everything correctly, it should line up to his face, it should follow the track, and when I play it through, the surface tool will warp according to the planar data. I'm just going to play this through so you can see what's going on. And basically I want to make sure I get my surface right. After that I can just pretty much render and be done. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm Mary Poplin. And we'd love for you to check us out on www.imagineersystems.com or check out our blog or our forums if you have any questions. We have a Facebook group, and if you're a tweeter, you can follow us on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.